Yo, what's good, everyone? This is A. Yo Boxing with Madiba, and we're here to talk about Shakur Stevenson's next opponent, Shurichiro Yoshino. So, this fight with Yoshino will happen April 8th, and it's a WBC lightweight eliminator, with the winner becoming a mandatory for the WBC belt, and that'll either be Devin Haney or Lomachenko. But Yoshino was an original opponent that Shakur was supposed to fight. Originally, it was supposed to be Isaac Pitbull Cruz, who was number two in the WBC, and he was mandated to fight Shakur, but Pitbull decided to go in a different direction. Then it was going to be William Cepeda, who was ranked number four in the WBC, but Oscar De La Hoya basically said that Cepeda wasn't ready for Shakur. Then it was going to be George Cambosis, who was ranked number five in the WBC, but he declined due to him losing back to back to Devin Haney and wanting some time off, which is understandable. So the fight with Yoshino was chosen since he was the next person in the WBC rankings. Yoshino is relatively unknown to US boxing fans and boxing media, but Yoshino is a good matchup and he's a legitimate test for Shakur who's making his first fight at lightweight. Yoshino is undefeated and he has a 75% KO ratio. That means he has power, especially in that right hand. He's the OPBF champion, which is a big deal in Japan, which shows me that he's fought some legitimate guys so far. He's beaten Masayoshi Nakatani, and Nakatani was the guy who fought Tio in a close fight and lost to Loma. And he also beat Masayuki Ito, who was the former 130 champion who also fought Jamel Herring but lost to him. He's an orthodox boxer with power, and he has a good jab when he uses it. Overall, he's a tough, good Japanese boxer. However, I expect Shakur to beat Yoshino mainly because Yoshino uses a high guard and Shakur is a master at destroying the high guard. However, I believe that Yoshino may be a difficult fight for Shakur and possibly dangerous for Shakur because this is Shakur's first fight at lightweight and he's fighting against a naturally bigger fighter who has power. And this is going to be Yoshino's biggest opportunity in his career yet. So I truly believe that he'll come to fight. Shakur's last two opponents weren't willing to go for broke when it mattered the most. Valdez wasn't willing to sell out when he was down on the scorecards, and Conceiciel seemed content with surviving rather than winning. I don't think Yoshino will do none of that. And the one thing that I've noticed from the Japanese boxing fans and Japanese fighters, they seem to have an appreciation for Shakur and his fighting style. So I believe that Yoshino will come prepared for this fight. The question is, does Shakur have the power to hurt and earn the respect of a real lightweight? And how will Shakur react to getting hit by a true lightweight? We'll have to see, but I believe that Shakur will pass this test. But who knows, this is boxing. Anything can happen. But thank you for tuning in with Ayo Boxing with Madiba. Hit like and subscribe and more content's coming your way.